Hi, I'm Chris. And I'm Anna. We're, We're the, the Hutchinsons. Hutchinsons. We own Hutchinson Maple Products in Lake Paul, Nova Scotia, and we're the largest certified organic maple producers in the province of Nova Scotia. For over 21 years on the road running a successful trucking business, we've had quite a journey that has taken us home here to Hutchinson Acres. This is our story. Lots in the go this week at Hutchinson Acres, and it starts at the cookhouse where production is running at full capacity. We're right in the middle of our season now. It's, it is busy. Uh, everything is uh, pretty much flat out. We are a little bit concerned that uh, the weather is starting to warm up a little bit too quickly this year and that it's going to uh, end our season earlier. Uh, this is something that we don't like to see, but that is what Mother Nature does. It's a full day affair to take the sap and process it through the RO machines and then onto the evaporator where it makes the pure maple syrup. Many days, Mark, who runs the cookhouse, begins as early as 4 a.m. At the end of every night, the RO machines are put through a wash and are left to soak in the solution until the morning to give them a good cleaning. Then they are given a thorough rinse that takes around 15 minutes. While the RO machines are being rinsed, it's time to drain and scrub the evaporator that has been sitting in water to soak overnight. Once the rinse is completed, it is time to put the sap through the RO machines. The sap in the tank is taken through the largest RO machine first, where it is reduced to a concentrate of 4%. Then it is processed through the smaller RO machines, where it is taken to a further concentrate of 18%. This whole process takes several hours. At this point the sap concentrate is ready to put through the evaporator where the remainder of water is cooked off. It takes a few hours to cook as it moves from the back pans to the front pans. Depending on atmospheric pressure of the area, it needs to reach a temperature of around 219 degrees Fahrenheit before it becomes maple syrup. It might not look like the maple syrup you see on the store shelves when it comes out of the machine. No maple syrup does. It still needs to be filtered at this point. The reason you need to filter maple syrup is the public doesn't want to see those little flakes of sand that come in maple sap. Believe it or not, when that tree is starting to produce maple sap, it's coming from the moisture, the water in the ground, and it actually transfers some of those little tiny particles of sand. And they come all the way down in the cooking process, and uh, when we cook it to syrup, there's these little particles in there of sand and the filtering process, what it does, it cleans all that little particles out so you have an attractive looking product rather than a product that has little tiny pieces dangling every time you turn it upside down. 
As the maple syrup is filtered, it is then ready to put into the barrels to be brought to the kitchen to be further cooked and bottled. This is where you can find Anna, who is currently showing new hire Emma the ropes. So today's the day that Emma Reeves has come on board as um, our cook in the kitchen. She came from New Ross area and um, we're very excited to have her. We need someone full time in the kitchen that can look after the kitchen and the cooking and everything and that way I can spend a lot more time doing the organizing and running of the company instead of being in the kitchen all the time. So very excited to get her started, get her trained. She's already familiar with kitchen duties, so a lot of it was fairly straightforward for her. So we're pretty excited to have her on board. With things well underway in the cookhouse, Chris is taking a moment to walk through the sugar bush with Cheetah and Jasper, who are still getting to know one another. The, uh, the interaction between uh, between Jasper uh, being the male and, and Cheetah being the female, uh, Jasper is constantly challenging Cheetah every day, all day, and uh, she is or he will become the dominant one. And uh, there's days that uh, they have an adjustment, but they 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 do work it out. They uh, they are inseparable and they will work this out as they grow up, but uh, for the most part, they do enjoy one another's company. As busy as the week has been, Anna closes it off, collaborating with MasterChef Canada contestant, Andy Hay. So we were contacted by Agriculture Canada uh, through the province of Nova Scotia to participate in their Meet the Farmer program. And they were doing a cooking segment with different um, farmers from throughout the region and collaborating with Andy Hay from MasterChef Canada. It was very exciting being asked to work with a MasterChef like Andy Hay. Uh, I've been watching the program, actually the one he's on currently, and um, was quite surprised to be given the opportunity. He was very down to earth, very Nova Scotian, so it was very easy, very relaxing to do. So I was very excited to um, make contact with Andy. We were doing it virtually um, out of my kitchen, but you know what, it was still great. Um, so we are doing some taping with him and we cook at the same time in his kitchen and I cook in my kitchen. And I'm really looking forward to seeing how the episode turned out. It was a great deal of fun. I actually learned a lot from him in, in a short amount of time about different ways to cook and little tricks of the trade. So I'm very excited to see the upcoming episode. Next week on Hutchinson Acres. Anna's collaboration with Andy Hay goes live, things are busy in the kitchen with the Netherlands order, and a TV crew visits the farm.